In this section we will see the shape dynamics from the brush settings panel. In the brush settings panel we have different dynamics and options at the left side. First we will see shape dynamics. In the shape dynamics you have the options related to the shape of the brush. The first option is size jitter. This option will increase the randomness of brush size each time it will stamp or release the ink. You can see the preview in the bottom most window. Increasing the jitteriness will increase the randomness of the brush size. The next option is control drop down. We find these controls with many of the sliders. Here we are working with the size jitter for now. So these controls are only for the size jitter property of the brush. It has different options compatible with different kinds of hardware attached to your computer like a graphic pen or dial in Microsoft Surface. The first option is fade control. This control works with the mouse too. It will fade out the current effect within specified steps. Select the fade and type 50 in the text box just besides it. This means after you start the stroke it will fade out in 50 steps. 50 steps means 50 stampings or 50 times of releasing the ink. After that it will stop releasing the ink. To understand it better let's increase the spacing in brush tip shapes options. Set it to 50%. Now draw a stroke and you will realize the fade option better. Though you can see the next options in the drop down but it will work only when it is compatible. The most creative option is pen pressure. For that you require a graphic pen. The pen tip feels the pressure you apply and decides the size of the brush. For a smooth result set the size jitter slider to zero. Draw a curve starting with low pressure and increase the pressure gradually. You can see that as you increase the pressure the brush size increases. Turn on the smoothing for smooth curves. Right now the pen is handling only the size control but you can add more controls at the same time. Below that we have a minimum diameter slider. This option is activated when you have specified the size jitter. This will set the minimum diameter to the specified percentage of the brush size. It means no matter how softly you draw a curve, this option will not decrease the brush size less than the minimum size specified. If you have the fade control enabled, then after fading out, it will keep releasing the ink with minimum diameter. The tilt scale option will be activated only when you select the pen tilt option from the control drop down. But you need a compatible graphic pen for that. Other options also require compatible hardware by which you can control the size of the brush. Set the control off for now. The next option of angle jitter will add the randomness to the rotation of the brush. To understand it better, Let's squeeze our brush to 15% and set the angle to 45 degrees. Right now the angle jitter is 0. The more you increase the percentage, the more randomness will be added to the rotation of the brush. You can see the preview in the bottom window. Or else you can draw on the canvas to know it better. You can check the angle randomness by changing the angle jitter value. Set the value around minimum for now. Again you have the controls drop down below it. This time we have two more options that can be controlled by the mouse other than fade. Let's see fade first. Specify the steps to 100. This will rotate the brush initially from 0 to 360 degrees within specified steps. Draw a straight line. You can set the brush angle to 90 degrees and try again to understand it better. 
increasing the fade steps will increase the initial rotation distance. The pen pressure option will rotate the brush according to the pressure you apply. More pressure and low pressure will rotate the brush in opposite directions. The second last option is initial direction. This option will detect the angle when you start and keep it the same until you stop drawing. It will set the angle depending on the direction you draw. The last option is direction. Let's select a different brush to understand it. Also set enough spacing to avoid overlapping. This option will constantly detect the angle while you draw and rotate the brush according to your direction. Reset the angle jitter options. You can reset any of the sliders by double clicking on the text. The next slider is roundness jitter. Let's set the roundness and spacing both to 100% to understand it better. Set the roundness jitter to 50%. This will set the randomness to the height of the brush. The minimum roundness will decrease the range of randomness as it will fix the minimum roundness of the brush. Once more, you have the control drop down for the roundness. Select the fade option and set the steps to 15. Set the roundness jitter to 0. Now draw a stroke. After starting, it will reduce the height within 15 steps. To understand the flipping jitter options better, let's select the bird brush from the preset. Set the spacing to 100%. The flip X jitter will stamp randomly with the original brush and horizontally flipped brush. Whereas flip Y jitter will stamp randomly with the original brush and vertically flipped brush. Selecting both will randomly flip the brush vertically as well as horizontally. The brush projection option is available with a stylus wheel. The options given in the shape dynamics are very self-explanatory. You can practice with different brush presets to understand in the most better way. Now let's talk about few relative questions. The first question is, can we create the stroke effect like a graphic pen with a mouse? Of course not, because the graphic pen has a pen tip that has unique property of pressure. Photoshop converts the pen tip pressure to the different properties of the brush. A mouse can have only a click property which turns the stroke on or off. The second question is, do we need any additional accessories or hardware devices for the brush tool? Well, actually not. It is not mandatory. But for giving a creative touch to your graphics, it is advisable. The next question is, how many controls can we have at the same time? Is it useful? Well, yes, as many as you want, the controls are made only to have the desired effect on stroke, you can apply and set the value as per your need. 